Hey everyone, you're listening to the Active Turnkey Podcast, a podcast designed for hands-off passive real estate rental investors. In the Active Turnkey Podcast, you'll hear Tom Olson and Jared Stoltmeister discuss all things turnkey rentals with other turnkey providers, service providers, and rental investors. Our goal is to help you reach your financial freedom and whatever comes after that. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Active Turkey Podcast. I'm your host, Jared Stoltmeister. And as we have normally with us, the Tom Olson. Hey, Tom. I am here today in the flesh. And as we're recording this flesh. podcast, the yeah. moon has covered the sun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, and we're in Gary. So it was yeah. interesting. You could see a sliver still. So it yeah. was, got darker out here. Yeah. Hey. It was eerily dark. Yeah. Mid kind of weird. Yeah. It's kind of anyway, cool. so. Um, this today we are going to talk about letting other people make you rich. And I think it's a great That's topic. A fun. It is a good topic, topic. Yeah. to talk about on a podcast. But before sure. we get going, um, yeah. Jared, do you know what the duck said <laughs> when he bought chapstick? What the duck what said when he duck bought say chapstick? When he bought chapstick. What's that? What do you say? He said to put it on his bill. <laughs> I, I yeah. get it. Yeah. That's you got good. it. You got that's it. That's good. Yeah, that was a good one, guys. Okay. That was a good one. What, what you got, Jared? Um when I moved into my new igloo, my friends threw me a housewarming party. Now I am homeless. Ha! <laughs> yeah. The house doesn't house need warming. to be warm. No. It, it's not good for those yeah. houses to be warm, Jared. Yeah, it's uh it's not good for nope. real estate. All right, Jared. Here. So how does a how does a cow, I'm sorry, what does a cow use to do math? What does a cow use to do math? Oh, yeah. Zach's going to like this one. <laughs> uh, tell me, Tom. He uses a calculator. Calculator. Yes. Calculator. A calculator. I thought a calculator, but I didn't do the cow. Yeah, yeah you, you, would, focus on you, the cow. Would, you would need to calculate the, yeah, yeah, with yeah. the calculator. Got it. I have Got one here. Jared? What do you call a poorly attended party for crows? What do you call a poorly attended community? A party for a crows. A party for crows. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. Attempted murder. Ah! I knew it was going to be something like that. That's what they call Arr. a group of crows as a murder. There you go. Yep. So there you go. Attempted we have to explain it. Murder. It's not as funny. So yeah. today we're going to talk about different ways to More let you know. other people make you rich. <laughs> That's right. And I'll tell, you, I think, I'll tell you, I think real estate is one of those sectors that it is um, most definitely, a w there's lots of different ways hmm. in real estate to let other people make you rich. You know, I mean, even, so let's start outside of real estate. You know, we are, we are, are, are turnkey providers. We build mm -hmm. rental portfolios for investors. Mm -hmm. If you guys are interested in that, you guys can go to our website, mm -hmm. One Group Network, mm -hmm. get on Jared's list, mm -hmm. get all of our turnkey sent to you. You guys can know what they look like. Um, but uh, even as real estate investors, if you're a real estate investor out there yourself and you go out and you are looking for properties, right? Let's, so what are some ways that you can use other people to help you look for properties, right? You think wholesalers, mm -hmm. um, realtors, mm -hmm. um, bird dogs, there's people out there that can help bring sure. you deals, like help make you money, mm -hmm. right? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, that's probably legitimate, yeah? Sure. Outside of real estate, you could think of, you know, maybe you could invest in the stock market. Mm -hmm. Really? Can we get that's 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 a way sure. other people could make you rich. Other companies can make you rich. Um, what, what are the what are, what are some other ways, Jared? I have uh, a lender that okay. I work with. Yeah. And so within real estate, that is within real estate, I have uh, a hard money lender, and so I get to use his money. Mm -hmm to do deals. And the goal of course, in, in those deals are just like anybody else who's doing Burr or active turnkey is to be, the goal is to be in the deal $0 after refinance. So, so it's kind of funny that you said it that way, because um, I was kind of thinking if the other way, but Jared's yeah. thinking, okay, mm -hmm. I'm using other people mm -hmm. to help make me money. So this other person's going to bring all the money to the table mm -hmm. and I'm going to borrow the money. And now maybe I buy a house and I fix it up and by the time I'm all said and done, I'm into it, um, hundred thousand dollars and maybe it's worth 130 when mm -hmm. we're all said and done. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's definitely a way that other people yeah. 
can make you rich. But hey, on the flip side of that, mm-hmm. and this is partly why we love real estate. And we even talk about your network is yeah. not only your net worth, it's also your survival plan in real estate because that other, the lender mm-hmm. is thinking the same thing. Hey, oh, yeah. Jared's over here making me money. Mm-hmm. You know, we do this exact same thing. That was, that was actually one of the things I was going to bring up as being a lender. Yep. Um, people loan us money to do our deals. When we're doing turnkey deals, people loan us money to do that deal. And in so many words, we are making them rich. Mm-hmm. We are making mm-hmm. them wealthy because they give us $100,000 and maybe we have their money for 10 months. And when we give their money back, it's $109,000. Yeah. So they made $9,000 not having to do anything. Mm-hmm. Now, yes, they had to earn the money to yep. begin with. Yep, yep. Um, and then the other side, the, the guy who's doing the deal had to learn the market, learn the you construction, learn the numbers to bring the deal to begin with. So it's, it is reciprocal. Absolutely. That so that is another way mm-hmm. that you can let other people make you rich. Yep. I mean, really, I, I think, I think when, when we start thinking about it, like everything that we do in life to build wealth, um, we should be thinking about who can help us get there. Like mm-hmm. who can be the person that helps me find the deal, who can be the person that's going to help me bring the money, who's mm-hmm. going to be the person that brings the money, who's going to be the person that, that manages the, the, the deal. Um, you know, I even think about my property management. Um, you know, I've I got a property manager in Florida and I believe he makes me rich. Like mm-hmm. I believe that he helps, he manages that property, make sure the rent comes in, make sure repairs are taken care of, um, make sure that they get the turnover done. Um, He's doing all that for me. I don't have to do any of that work for me. Even contractors to a certain degree, like when you hire a contractor, sure. um, they are in some respects, oh, yeah. you know, making, they're adding value to that property. Um, <laughs> they are making you rich, right? A bad contractor can make you poor. Also, they can, I was just talking about this with Jared at lunch today. I was oh, like, yeah, this man. particular property, I cannot Ooh. believe I'm into it that much money. Yes. Um, I hired, I not one, not two, but three bad contractors on one job. That was not good. That doesn't normally happen, folks. No. Um, but uh, though neither one of those contractors worked for us today. Um, and, uh, but, yeah. uh, you know, anyway, so, so <laughs> what are some other ways? You know, I think about what we do. You know, I, I do believe that what we do yeah. is this is literally what we do. Like we bring people houses mm-hmm. on a silver platter and say, Hey, you can buy the house for this much money. You, we can put this much money of work into the property and it'll be worth this much money. Um, you know, and we've kind of been throwing these numbers around in the last couple of podcasts. Let's say you buy the house for 60 and it needs $40,000 worth of work and it's worth 30,000, $130,000 when it's all said and done. Those are probably pretty similar numbers. What were maybe 105, you know, maybe how people are in these houses, but about a hundred to 120, maybe $110,000 mm-hmm. right now for a $130,000 house. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so in, in essence, like that's, I, I really, we, we pride ourselves because we believe that we are, that's the value that we bring mm-hmm. to the community. We yep. are the, we are the people that are making other people rich. And we, and we, we, we want to be that we don't, we don't, we, we, we aren't jealous of other people's success. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm proud to say, and I told this to our team last week, um, our companies collectively paid out to our investors over $5 million in payouts last year, whether that was from rents or whether that was from interest payments or people that invested into our fund that got paid out. Um, that's a, that's a big yeah, number. That's sure. a lot. That's a lot. That, that's a lot of money. Um, and uh, so, so we, I hope that we are. Mm-hmm. In that group of yep. somebody that's making somebody else mm-hmm. wealthy, yes. Um, but when it comes to turnkey specifically, Jared, um, I do think that there is some is, is one party. I don't want to say that they're overlooked because they are kind of the key. They are like the catalyst that makes the whole thing work, and that really is the renter. At the end of the mm-hmm. day, the renter is making the landlord wealthy mm-hmm. other pe- so you a lot of times you think about service providers you think sure. about maybe lenders or maybe you're a lender and you're giving money to other people but think about this like to me this should this should excite you mm-hmm. every single month when you get your rent check and let's just say you get $1350 for rent right um every single time that $1350 goes and pays that $890 mm-hmm. mortgage payment okay mm-hmm. how much of that mortgage payment went to principal that month. Like that should get calculated in your overall return that month. Like mm. if 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 you're only thinking about okay, I got 1350 for rent. Right. 
property management took 135. I had to pay taxes and insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm down to, you know, maybe I'm down to 1150. I got to pay 950. I'm making $200 a month. And that's where people end. They're, I'm making $200 a month. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is only your cash flow. Right. So not and not only are the renters then paying down your mortgage every single month, mm -hmm. but what else are they doing? They're allowing the deal to they're holding the deal together, which let's just say in that same month, that property went up in value fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of that should get and if you think about it, if you just use a round number of a hundred and thirty thousand dollars use hundred thirty 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 thousand dollars. And if the property goes up in value 4%, that's been pretty standard and pretty average. Honestly, it's been a whole lot more than that in Gary. And, and so it's probably been 10 to 15% over the last three to four or five years, um, maybe even closer to 20% in some of those years. But um, let's just use a, a small percentage of 4%. Mm -hmm. So if 4% um, of $130,000, you know, I got a calculator here. Why, why, don't, why don't I just do, you know, plug it in real quick times 0 0.04. Um, 130,000 times 0 0.04, uh, $5,200 a year. That's substantial, sure, right? Sure. Um, let's, let's, let's use a lower number. You know, if, if you don't like that number, let's use 3%. So times 0 0.03%, $3,900. Okay. So, so conservatively divide that by 12, um, $325. So you mean to tell me that your property is going up in value. Money, I've made over $500 a month. In that scenario, right? Like, cash flow. Well, sure. no. Like, let's just say that three hundred twenty-five dollars mm -hmm. that you made in appreciation. Right. What about um, that renter that paid down your mortgage? How much of that mortgage? And then, no. Trust me. When you first start, you're not paying that much down. Okay. On a nine hundred and fifty dollars payment, Jared, at the beginning, first mm -hmm. couple of years, we're mm -hmm. talking. How much do you think equity pay down is happening every single month? Uh, like fifty bucks, hundred bucks. Okay. I was gonna say. You know, probably between eighty and one hundred twenty mm -hmm, bucks. Mm -hmm. So let's just call it a hundred bucks, okay? And then on top of that, you get two hundred dollars because of cash flow, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. pay everybody, they, everybody thinks that's the only part of the sure, whole equation. Sure. But with all with equity pay down, with cash flow, and with appreciation, you're at six twenty five. Hmm. So I mean, six hundred and twenty five dollars a month. Um, somebody else is holding that together for you. So, um, you know, to me, this, this is honestly why I am so pro rentals. This is why I'm sure. so pro, um, because it's not just everything that we talk about. It's not just, you know, the performa, it's not just getting the rehab done. It's mm -hmm. not just managing your property. Well, it's not at the end of the day, good renters like make us rich. Mm -hmm. They really do. I mean, mm -hmm. now is $600 going to make us rich? No, right? Is that going to make us wealthy? No, that's not going to make us wealthy. But let's just say I had, you know, what if I had 20 of these, mm -hmm. right? So $600 times 20, oh, that's $12,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, mm -hmm. now what if I had 50 of these? So 50 times $600, that's 30,000. Okay, mm -hmm. that's 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 significant. Now we're, now we're talking. Um, now what if I had 100, you know? Um, <laughs> You know the guy from one rental at a, at a time, Michael Zuber. He talks about this all the time. Like I, he didn't he didn't quit his day job until he had over, well over a hundred rentals, mm. um, and they were all leverage. These aren't like you know just free and clears, but a hundred rentals. And if I could make six hundred dollars a month, you know a hundred. I mean that's sixty thousand dollars in real. That's really what they're they're giving you mm. at the end of the day. Um, so. Um, what, what I would encourage people to do is set these goals so that way you can see and understand the whole full equation um, when, when you're getting into rentals. Um, you know, mm -hmm. so yes, you can use other people to make your money. You can, you can invest in the stock market. You can loan your money out. You can also invest into funds. Or me and Jerry was talking about a fund mm -hmm. um, that I'm invested in at lunchtime today as well. Um, there are there are ways that you can invest your money into funds. You can also invest your money, loan your money out. You know, we, we, we've talked about that mm -hmm. as well. People loan us money. Jared just talked about a hard money lender that loaned him money. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all I'm a hard money lender and I borrow money from sure. people, you know, every single week. Um, so and, and in my opinion, like both parts of those equations are both wins. Yep. Like it should be a win for yes. the person borrowing the money should be a win for the person loaning the money. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, this is part of the reason why I love real estate because we get to do it with people, yeah. and we we get to um, 
we get to work hard every day, wake up every day, solve people's problems, you know, deal with tenant tenant issues. And every single time that we're dealing with a tenant issue, I know we're making our our our, our owners rich. I, I really do believe that. I do believe now, are they getting rich overnight? No. Mm-hmm. I know everybody thinks it's to get rich quick and they're gonna buy four houses and all of a sudden they're gonna be the next Big Donald team. Trump. Oh yeah. Um that's just that's really not how it works. Um, you really need a lot more. You really do need substantially more. You need you need twenty free and clears, or maybe a hundred, you know, leveraged, mm-hmm. um, in order to really get to some kind of real significant level. Um, and I know, and some of our investors are like that. They've gotten twenty or thirty or forty houses, but most of them haven't gone the the uh, free and clear route. Most right. of them have gone the leverage route. Um, but uh, you know. And and that's why when people get to that point, they get to 20, 30, 40, they think, oh, maybe I should start getting into multifamilies. Maybe I should start, you know, buying four units or buying eight units at a time um, because every one of those renters are kind of adding to that mm-hmm. equation. Sure. You know, uh, you buy a four unit and now the property is worth $400,000. Well, 3% of that is a lot larger mm-hmm. number than 3% of $130,000. Um, so uh, to me, I think real estate is, the perfect way to allow other people to make us rich, which is mm-hmm. why there's more millionaires created around real estate than any other single industry, because really you can make something out of nothing to a certain degree. I mean, really you can, you can, you can come into real estate with nothing, use private money, get into deals. Um, and, and that's how a lot of us had, had to start, right. you know, be, before we, we, we really had anything. Um, most of us had to start with really borrowing money um, using other people's money to be able to um, to be able to create opportunities and create wealth for ourselves, and you could do this too. Like don't 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 discount that. A lot of our investors aren't that. A lot of our investors are professionals. I understand that you've already built a business. Maybe you're a doctor, you're a dentist, you're in work for Microsoft or Google, or um, you know you, you maybe you own a business. Um, whatever the case is, you've had to learn a skill to be able to set aside money, and now you're using this as passive income, and you're kind of trying to invest passively. Um, that's great. That, that I mean, that's a great way to do it. But don't discount the understanding that hey you could bring other people into yeah. a deal other people can 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 come you can partner with with deals with people you can um, use other people's money just to get into the deal and you we have Burr people that use Burr and use our hard money lending company mm-hmm. to buy the property yep. you know rehab it and then refinance it and get out of the deal so um I know we cannot keep up with the demand um, I know that we have more buyers that want to buy our turnkeys than we can actually produce in turnkeys. Um, but to me, this still gets me excited about it. Um, and we'd love to work with you. We're looking at a bunch of deals right now. So we, we might have more and more of these active turnkey deals coming up uh, in the future. Hopefully you guys are ready for them mm-hmm, to snag mm-hmm. them up. Um, and we also might actually be having an opportunity on a multi-unit coming up here as well. Right. So if you guys are listening mm-hmm. to this and you're looking at maybe buying a four <laughs> unit, them, actually. Um, you know, let us know about that as well. So anything else here that you want to add to that from letting other people make you rich? No, I mean, that, Tom mentioned it in the podcast, that's what we do. Uh, we are a full service shop. Uh, we can, and when it comes to turnkeys or active turnkeys, we can provide all of that and more. Um, in fact, the value ha- helping other people make you rich. We don't just stop providing the turnkey. It may be three to seven years later. Tom has mentioned in, in our podcast or the three to seven year plan. That's another avenue where down the road we can even compound that where once you have capitalized on appreciation and they've we've helped you get rich when it comes to the cash flow and appreciation. Now you can capitalize on the sale of the, mar- of the property if, if that's a strategy you choose. And but we can help you with that as well. And so uh, how, however that is, we we, uh, we try to bring the value that way. And uh, of course, we would like to benefit as well. We want to be a win for us. Um, but we believe that if we're producing wins for you, we get wins as well. So you can Absolutely. visit us. Uh, like Tom said, you can go to our website at onegroupnetwork.com. You can join our list and see our deals. You can get on a call with me. We can schedule a visit. And uh, at that point, maybe we can even invest together. Absolutely. We'd love that. Um, if this has brought you any value, I'd love to give a five-star review from you mm-hmm. guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends and family about us. And I do want to let everybody know about a really special three-day event we have coming up September 5, 6, and 7 right here in our office in Gary, Indiana. You can see our people. You can you know, drive the neighborhoods if you really want to, but we've got three days worth of national speakers that have sponsored um, a lot of them are sponsors, some of them are just friends of mine um, that are going to be here. And if you guys are have more interest in that, you guys can go to goodsuccess.com to learn out more about that. And really, like, think about it. Like, 
coming to an event like this, you might find other people yep. that might be able to help make you rich. Mm-hmm. And maybe, again, vice versa. I think that we should also be willing to reciprocate. We should be willing to be that person that wants to help other people as well. And that's really what the Real Estate Free For All event is all about. We, we try to do three things. Number one, we like to have fun. We, we, we really do. We want to have sure. fun. Number two, we want to connect. We want to grow our network. We want to have those times where we can um, have conversations with different people and, and grow our network. Um, and number three, we really do want to learn. Like I, I, there's a lot of amazing speakers that are going to be here at the event. At, this, at the event alone, just the speakers themselves have over a billion dollars worth of assets under management. So um, it's definitely, I think, worth your time to, to, to think about coming out for the three days. I know it's in Gary, Indiana. The um, I also know that there, we, we're not having the event at a hotel, so it's it's a little bit inconvenient. Um, for that, we do have a link at the website. So goodsuccess.com, you guys can find out more information about that. I'd love to see you guys here um, as a VIP guest um, of, 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 of this podcast and of mine and Jared's. We can shake your hand and say hi to you and uh, possibly do some business together. Awesome. Thank you for joining us today on the Active Turnkey podcast. Active Turnkey, the best way to buy rentals. Have a good day. One Group Network makes no warranty, guarantee, or representation as to the accuracy or sufficiency of the information featured in this podcast. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast are for general information only, and any reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own risk. This podcast should not be considered professional advice. Unless specifically stated otherwise, One Group Network does not endorse, approve, recommend, or certify any information, product, process, service, or organization presented or mentioned in this podcast, and information from this podcast should not be referenced in any way to imply such approval or endorsement. Any third-party materials or content of any third-party site referenced in this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions, standards, or policy of One Group Network. One Group Network assumes no responsibility or liability for the accuracy or completeness of the content contained in the third-party materials or on third-party sites referenced in this podcast or the compliance with applicable laws of such materials and or links referenced herein.